they possibly don't see anything in you as a person. What do you feel about that? Like that was an actual friend. You can't even play around and say he wasn't your friend. Well, that was an actual to some friend. Extent, yeah. yeah, we like hung out in real life, invited each other over to houses, uh, went outside quite a bit, talked off the stream a bit. Yeah. And you're telling me that entire friendship. So do you hold any responsibility for your friendship? just completely falling apart do you think that you could have done certain things better um maybe maybe having like off stream talks to like chill the waters hello oh hi, hello how are you doing buddy i'm doing great how about yourself uh doing okay playing video games interesting, interesting. okay so i've seen that you've spoken with the main man a couple of days ago Martin motherfucking Shkreli. Is that right? Yeah. Now see, I like Martin, you know what I mean? I like Martin. I gotta, I gotta put that out there first, okay? I like a man who, you know, puts it to the goddamn insurance companies, takes care of the people that are in need, okay? He's a good man that ran two fucking billion dollar companies, so clearly a man that knows his business, right? Okay. Now, do you agree or disagree? I need to know if we're on the same page. Um, I'm probably not gonna agree with you much on this at all, but who cares? What's up? Okay, so I've heard that he floated the idea of you and him possibly having a boxing match. Now listen, there aren't that many men on planet Earth that are your same height, same weight, roughly, and he fits the criteria. So would you be ever, you know, would you be down to fight Shrelly sometime soon? Uh, maybe. I don't think he'd go for it though. Whoa, hold on now. So you're saying you would be down to scrap somebody and they'd be afraid of you. You're saying... I think we, he's clear. probably like 60 pounds less than me right now, dude. That would be ins I would have to be on an insane cut and he would have to gain an insane amount of weight. I mean, a 30 pound cut isn't like... It, it isn't the craziest thing. If he, if he goes how up many there and he goes down 30... I mean, you guys could do it in like in like a year? year or something. <laughs> Not a year. I mean, if you eat properly, you could easily gain that weight, especially in the United States. I mean, come on, your food is, is your food is very unhealthy. You could do it probably. But wait, you're telling me that guy is generally that much smaller than you? Like, what's his? I feel like when I look at weight? pictures of me, he seems like a very like a very small dude, like 110 pounds. That's like my guess. Unironically, okay. he looks like a very 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 just like a kind of computer guy. Okay, there's no shot. He is deaf tiny at least i hope not okay because that would mean that he was mistreated when he was serving time if he's like 110 pounds is he your height is he shorter than you would you know he's a, i think he's an inch or two shorter so like is he like five one or something good one i don't know i just thought i'm asking you like what do you mean good one i'm just asking is he like five one five two i don't know how tall you are right every time i look at you i generally think you're like kaisa that height five three yeah so like, is he five four or something? Like, give me something right here, okay? I know you're busy fighting, whatever the f it is, but you know, try to activate your brain. You know, multitasking and all. Uh, I think he's five seven or five six. Wait, so you're telling me you're five eight, five nine? I'm five eight. <laughs> what the? F yeah, we gotta test that out later, but um. Oh, it's okay, been tested. Don't worry, buddy. Now, I've seen the Haas, uh, you standing next to Haas, and that is crazy. He looks like, I don't know if it was edited or not, but I see the picture where he was like a solid five inches shorter than you, which yeah, is crazy. Yeah, five inches? Yeah, that was a problem right there. Like, I didn't, I didn't think humans shorter than you existed, other than, you know, toddlers and shit. But, so you'd be down to fight him. You'd be down to fight. Uh, I consider it. It would depend on, like, the event and everything, but... Okay, so what event would be good enough for you to fight? Like, on? I don't like, think I would do it like just him and me for like five thousand dollars or something, right? But if it was like part of like a creator clash thing or some event like that, I mean, I'd consider it. But I don't even know how exclusive those cards are or anything. Ooh, so you'd be open to reaching out to Idubs and his boss? I mean, his wife and you know, figure something out together. I mean, they'd be down. Imagine having. Destiny and Martin Shkreli, you think that wouldn't raise money for charity? Like, hey, I'm pretty sure they'd be down, but you're willing to cuck yourself for charity instead of getting the money yourself? Why would I be cucking myself for charity? Yeah, because, you know, the proceeds usually from a fight, like from a pay-per-view, it gets split between the fighters, or at least the main attractions, which you most definitely would probably be, right? Okay, definitely I probably don't go together. You'd definitely be the fucking attraction if you're fighting somebody else, right? 
especially if that's somebody else's fucking Martha Shkreli. So you wouldn't want to get the pay-per-view yourself instead of fucking giving it to charity? You don't seem like a charitable person, let's be honest. Oh, damn. You don't get any of that purse at all goes to charity? Is that true? No, you get, like, they pay you a certain amount, but the money that's generated from, like, the fucking pay-per-view, I don't think you get any of that. You don't. Oh. You don't get it. So why would you do create a clash then? What the fuck? Yeah, good question. I don't know. I'd have to think about it, huh? You'd probably do Misfits or something. The other, the KSI run promotion. Yeah. They'd give you, they'd give you way more money. And they'd probably give you pay-per-view. Damn. Actually true. So you'd do, okay. So again, boys, get this clip to Martin Shrelly. Destiny says you weigh 60 pounds less than him. You're two inches shorter. You won't come up in weight. You're a bitch and you won't fight. And he is down to fight you at the end of this year. Listen, Did me and Marge Kelly just repaired our bridge. Why are you trying to start shit, okay? What do you mean you just repaired your bridge? What the fuck? Like, he's the only person that would, like... Okay, that sucks. If that is true, that fucking sucks. That's terrible. But you don't seem to like him. He seems to like you more than you like him. I mean, I think he's an interesting guy to talk to. Why is he an interesting guy to talk to? Didn't you, like, clown him for running two failed businesses? Yeah, but, I mean, he's got a super interesting background. You know, whether I like him or disagree with him, he's got a lot of insight into industries that I haven't, like, had as much experience in. Like, yeah, what do you, why are you asking this question? Of course he's an interesting guy to talk to. I just wanted to see your perspective on it. I agree he's interesting, but mm. I want to what see have you been why up you to? find him interesting. How's Cake been going? What I, have, what I have... Oh, hey, great question! I am currently on day two of my subathon, and yesterday was a glorious day. Very glorious day. Yeah. So that's what I'm up to right now. 306 subs in one day. I don't, maybe this is your average day. You know what I mean? Maybe this is your average day. But to me, hey, guys, I'm over the moon right now. Okay. I'm over the moon. I'm overjoyed. Okay. Life is good. Guys, <clears throat> you know, one sub equals five minutes. So kick.com slash Krantos. That's Q-O-R-A-N-T-O-S. You know what to do. You know what I mean? We're currently at 827 subs. And I'm looking to get to 1,000 before 12. Damn. That's what I've been up to. That's what I've been up to. I've been doing great. Well, that's amazing. I'm proud of you, buddy. Okay, are you proud are you, enough um, to uh, contribute to the subathon? No. I already did my daily donation. <laughs> okay, dude. You know people are like, please help little Steve. He has no content. So this is my daily donation. Let's get it right first. But you are about to ask me something. Go ahead. Um, When you do a subathon, are you doing anything special? Are you like, trying to stay awake the whole time? Or is it just... Fuck no, I slept for a solid 12 hours. I streamed 12 hours, I slept for 12 hours, now I'm back. Uh, no, I have some cert I have certain fucking sub goals. Uh, you know, one of them involved me doing something crazy, which I'm not going to fucking uh, state out loud Ooh, right now. Ooh, uh, like taking the mask off? You know, that's at 10,000. They, they, they had me put it up there, so I just put it to 10,000, so we never get to it. But, uh... Actually, one of them is going on an e-date. So, guys, if you want to see my Riz activated, it's going to happen soon. It is going to happen soon. Oh, you already hit it? My Riz. Um, where it's nine. Where is it? Yeah, it's nine fifty subs. I'm currently at eight twenty-seven. Damn. So I'm close. I'm close. I'm, Big I'm almost Riz there, mode activating. Holy shit. Absolutely. Listen, I've already done it plenty of times on Monkey App. <laughs> you fucking strangers. Jesus. You wiped the booger oh off of God. your shirt. I uh, I heard it. I, I heard it. That was a crazy sneeze. Jesus. Yeah, listen. You are allergic to my goddamn gorgeousness. I understand. It is okay. Yeah. It's the average. But I'll say this, though. I'll say this, though. I, I wasn't expecting to get 300 in one day, so I know for a fact that, you know, the thousands going to be hit today. Also, shout out to Kick. I had Kick staff come through because I was like, I asked that nigga, I was like, yeah, you think I'm famous, right? I got 300 subs in the day. He's like, yeah, you're pretty popular. I don't think he was being sarcastic. Though, so I don't know. But shout out Kick staff. Usually, the Twitch staff only sit in XQC's chat. So, uh, you know, this is pretty, this pretty good stuff. I'm not going to lie. But I got, I got more questions for you, actually. Uh, is Jonathan finally unbanned? Yeah, didn't you make me unban him that one day? Oh, you actually did it? Well, if I told you I, I did, I, I did it, yeah. Are you like, I'm lazy, I have to click buttons, that's the last yeah, thing. Yeah, and I clicked them, just for you, buddy. Well, but he don't fuck with you anymore. He didn't come I through. Don't. He'll come through again. Okay, so you're saying when he needs more attention, more clout, he's gonna come by again? Basically? Uh, yeah, something like that. That's typically how it works. Okay, interesting. I heard you have a podcast that you're about to start. Um, should be, hopefully, pretty soon within, uh, I think, uh, two weeks or a week or two. 
I am I doing? A podcast in a week. And you'd be co-hosting it with uh, who? Um, well, one is going to be with uh, Dan. And another is going to be with uh, Farah. Depending on who takes more initiative, we'll see. Mm. Oh, and, my God. Okay. Chat, let me ask you this. Projections on how long you think those uh, podcasts are going to last. Especially one where he's co-hosting with the Farha chick. Uh, do you think it's going to last, you know, less than three months, more than three months? Let me know your opinions. Your opinions, chat. Okay. Put one in the chat if you think it's going to last less than three months. Put one in the chat if you think it's going to last less than three months. You really think it's a smart business decision to start a podcast with a chick that tried to cancel you? I don't think she tried to cancel me. Okay, everybody's putting one, so clearly DGG. Hey, listen. DGG yeah, keep in mind, this supporting. is the same DGG that said that you should have been fucking banned on day one, so <laughs> careful. I mean, I mean, it is true. It is true. They're usually retarded, but when they agree with me, they're not retarded. You know how life works. Oh, okay. Fair. But, uh, wait, so you're telling me, so you're telling me that she wasn't malicious in any way, especially when she said, I deleted the full context and I kept the fucking video up, and you want to create a podcast with that chick. What would that podcast be about, actually? Um, I don't know yet. We're still trying to decide, but it's gonna be like topical shit, so. Because I, I need to do something to get me out of this fucking red pill shit. Interesting. Okay, so you're gonna be like the Trisha Paytas and the Ethan Klein of like Kick and Rumble, basically, right? Because they did shit that wasn't related to. Like, you talk about entertainment and that type of shit, correct? Um, I don't even know what those guys did for a podcast, but maybe. Okay, interesting. I see you more like a Trisha Paytas more than an Ethan Klein, to be honest. Oh my god, okay, that I, takes so long, sorry. I'm so good, dude. I'm just an, I'm a natural the, born gamer, okay? I'm a god gamer. You're lucky to be talking to me. <laughs> Look at me chop this guy up. Look at me chop this guy up. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. Oh, uh, this is like the most FPC like commentary ever. I'm a god. I'm a, I'm a god like gamer. Dude. Look at me chop gamer. this guy down. Look at me chop this guy down. Ooh. Me chop him up. Look I mean, me. I'm a god gamer. What do you want me to say, dude? Like when I'm good, I'm good. I mean, I watched Darius out of this boss like 30 times. I didn't know he could die to this boss. Uh, look at me right click this dude, dude. I'm so good, dude. Oh god. Okay. I mean, so okay. So you're the one who's buying all the equipment. You're the one who's like, you know, basically you're you're the one who's putting all this shit up front. So is um, it like a 50-50 split? Uh, I haven't decided that yet. I don't have a data cube. Um, I, yeah, I haven't figured out how I'll, I'll split revenue and everything. I'm more concerned with just like getting the content out. That's like the most important thing. Um, and and do you think this is like the thing that's going to uh, give you that new image you've desperately been seeking? Yeah, I think it's really. I think having like live podcasts are like the thing now. I think it's really important. So would you say that you're now a fresh and fit orbiter then? Sure thing, buddy. No, I'm. Wait, why are you responding back so condescendingly? Okay, this if you're is just telling rude. retarded fucking jokes, what am I supposed to say? Why is it retarded jokes? Am I a first fresh of and all? fit orbiter? What does that even mean? Okay, first of all, them niggas average twenty one thousand on YouTube, and you know YouTube is dog shit for live streaming. Number one, number two, they have what like double your subs. That's number two. Number three, you've been on their shit more than they've been on your shit. Sounds like an orbiter to me, buddy. All right, I am an I am a fresh and fit orbiter. Wait, wait, what did I say that was wrong? Could you even argue against that? You wait, can't. They only and do a no podcast. They're not even live streamers, right? It's hard to compare. But if you want me to be an orbiter, I'll be an orbiter, okay? Okay, so you're telling me they don't they don't do live streams, and when they do them, they average twenty thousand. So to me, that's they average twenty thousand maybe when I'm there, okay? When they're doing the day show without any fucking girls or whatever, I'm pretty sure that's like a five k view stream. Okay, so basically, when they do their normal thing, they average as much as you. When they have girls on, they average four x. So you, okay, so. I don't, what's, what's with the ego, by the way? What's wrong with you being, like, little bro by somebody? Because I saw when Gideon did that to you, you almost lost your shit, you know what I mean? When he was like, you know, I like to go on smaller content creators and shit, you know, like, I come on Destiny stream, and you're like, what the fuck, dude? I'm not Carantos, okay? Why are you talking to me like that? You think I forgot that disrespect? Okay, listen, I still remember that. That was me, so, like, I some... personally, okay. No, 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 you personally got it from Gideon, and you didn't say anything, because, again, mm -hmm. he's Gideon, right? Well, I mean, like, he's a, he you, is a, legitimately a much larger creator than me, right? Yeah, so, you know, it's okay for you to orbit Gideon or to orbit XQC. I mean, XQC kind of abandoned you. When's the last time he, you know, stopped by your stream? Other than when he tried to get you and hasn't to talk. Um, I don't know. Good question. Exactly. Do you think these guys, they like you? 
for you or they like you because of you know think about it this way do they like steven or do they like destiny I don't know, man. That's a good question. You're making me doubt everything now. Are you saying that there's a chance that some of these people only hang out with me because of the viewership I bring them? Or because... Yeah, possibly. Or because of the fucking entertainment that you bring. And that's Holy about shit. it. And I never thought they about don't that see before. Any value. They don't see any value. No, but obviously... Okay, okay. Stop being sarcastic, you little... Okay, yeah. stop. Okay? Right now, I want you to recognize the fact that they possibly don't see anything in you as a person. What do you feel about that? That's it's all part of the game, baby. So you hold the same feelings towards them, basically. It's only business. Um, I say what I say, and I mean what I say. I mean, it depends, it depends on who you're talking about. I like that. Easy. I Not mean, you did. I, I mean, you did say that you know you don't value Jonathan as a friend or anything, and you only have like four people you actually give a fuck about. That you did say that. So I would say that you probably have zero friends in this fucking streaming game. Uh, I mean, correct? me and Snicko, I would say are friendly. Um, what? what? So you're telling me you are so comfortable shitting on Jonathan and you knew Jonathan way longer than you knew Sneeko. But with Sneeko, you're all like, ah, me and Sneeko, like, I'll, bro, what the fuck is up with you dick sucking Sneeko? I mean, listen, I don't got no problem with Sneeko, especially after, you know, I've had conversations and, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt with his, uh, with his reversion. Clearly, it's doing him good since he's starting to move away from the red pill, you know? So I'd stop with the cuck jokes and all of that. I've had that conversation plenty of times on my stream. You know, I'm like, I'll give him a break. But you are glazing the fuck out of Sneeko. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah what nice. does Sneeko have on you? The I mean, no, craziest black man you wouldn't believe, okay? No, but like, it, there must be something for you to value him way more than somebody that you've known for like four or five years longer. Why? I've only seen John like fucking once in real life, I think. Or twice. So you're maybe. saying, so you're saying it depends on the amount of times you've seen somebody IRL. Yeah, bro. That's exact. That's what I just said. Yes. Yeah, I'm just trying to get clarifying statements for the people. Stop being a oh, dick. Shit. Oh my god. Okay, so Sneeko is a I should get friend this because I've got Jonathan. life steal, right guys? Or no? Yeah, ask DGD chat since they know a lot about games. Oh, These fucking oh, basement dwelling shit. bitches. I don't think I should. YouTube chatter. YouTube chatter. I see you in my chat. You better sub, you fucking brokey bitch. You're not even subbed in DGD chat. Why are you chat? saying YouTube oh chatters? You're talking about kick chatters, okay? YouTube kick, and, and, and honestly, it's all the fucking same. It's not, not the same, chat. okay? I mean, YouTube chat is way nicer to me, to be honest. So shout out to YouTube chat. Okay, kick chat is also pretty I don't even, cool. I'm not even streaming YouTube on YouTube right, right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay. Oh, listen, man, you just got exposed. I just fucking woke up, okay? Listen, I'm juicing up right now. Okay, so why don't you value, like, a guy like Jonathan as a friend, but a guy like Sneeko, you really like? I didn't you say know, really. I said we're while. friendly. And I think Sneeko and I are just a bit more similar. Ooh, you and Sneeko are a bit more similar in what sense? Bro, are you serious? I'm curious. In what sense are you guys more similar to each other than you and Jonathan would be? Um, did I just, what happened to my fucking gun? Um, I don't know, we just are more similar. I don't know, John is like a, like a, he's got a lot of cokehead energy, okay? I mean, there is an obvious similarity that I don't need to get into between you and Sneeko, but that's in the past, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, uh. yeah, you know what I'm saying, but like, okay. So you're saying that John is a cokehead that you can't associate with in like, friendly weight terms or whatever but like Sneeko he's much more I just don't, I don't know how serious John is about like anything ever I can never tell okay you've been known the guy for like four years and yeah and I still, still don't know I'm still not sure like it's I listen I know that he's a pretty hard fucking breed and a lot of people can't figure out when he's serious or when he's trolling but four fucking years that you're still in this stage yep. I mean, it's pretty obvious that he does a lot of what he does just for the content really how long did it take you to figure out the leukemia shit was a lie I mean, listen, I, in my heart, I'm gonna I'm keep it real. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a lie, but at the same time, I wanted to be wrong and believe that it was true. You know what <laughs> I mean? He had leukemia? You wanted to believe that? You no, know, I wanted to, like, be wrong. I wanted to believe that I'm wrong by saying that I'm right. Does that make any sense? Nope. So, like, I, I say that he's saying the truth, but then he says, no, I'm lying. And then, you know, I get fucking shown that I'm retarded. You know what I mean? That, that, that's how I fucking approached it. I'd rather be fucking wrong about believing that he has leukemia than me saying that he doesn't have leukemia and then then actually having leukemia you get what i'm trying to say 
Sure. Bro, I know you're playing a fucking game, bro. Like, are you this slow at multitasking? I, I, I don't I mean, even know what we're talking about right now. You're asking me, you're like, why are you like seeing go more than John Zerg? I don't know anything about John Zerg. He's just like, a, he's a clown character, right? Like, he's a fun guy to hang around. He's funny to be around. But like, I've never oh, had Jesus. a serious conversation with him my entire life. I don't, I don't know what to say. Whoa. John Zerka is a clown and just Okay, a fun bring guy in the ultimate around. weapon. Where's Kelly Jean? Come talk to Karantos, okay? I think he really needs... <laughs> yeah, I do need something to put me back to sleep, to be honest. I do need that. <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. Listen. I'm, you're playing this game that makes no sense, so I'm just here creating some side commentary, to be honest. It's not like I had anything I wanted to talk about in specific. I was just curious about the nature of your relationship because, you know, you're a guy that, you know, keeps it strictly business. And I do respect that, okay? There are no friends online. Why are you saying that's not even true? I don't know why you say that, but are you just like saying a bunch of random shit or. Wait, wait. I just, no, I'm, I'm not trolling, like. That wait, I thought did you say this already? Like, you know, with this online shit, it's more like acquaintances rather than friends. Yeah, but that's not because I keep it strictly business, it's because other people are, are I think are just like that. Or maybe your form of friendship is not something that is compatible with what they view as friendship, right? Uh, okay. That maybe. could be another one. True, maybe it's on me. I I, I honestly I was giving you the base answer because that is my answer. Guys, you could never have friends online it's only business especially when there's like fucking money involved and they're streamers and let's say you get into some sort of controversy and then all of a sudden i do not associate with this fucking guy i don't know him how many times has that happened to you um, where somebody said fuck this guy i don't know him um i don't know probably quite a few times i don't know i don't keep i don't usually expect people to have my back in fucking e-drama yeah, but when people expect uh, you to have their back based off of you being friends, you tell them, whoa, relax, we're not that kind of friends. Nobody right? expects that of me at this point. I cover shit as I see it. I don't think anybody expects me to send for them right now. I mean, at this point, people realize, okay, Destiny's form of friendship is a bit skewed, so we'll let him slide. But I do remember a few years ago, it wasn't that like a big issue between you and Train, like where he expected you to like defend him against some fucking guy, and then you just had that guy come on and bash him. It's kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Because that's, you know, you tried to say that you're, you know, what's Wait, it wait, which guy are you talking about? Oh my god, this was so long ago. I what, mean, train? it was so long ago. It was Train, was it Wes, I think? Wes, by the was, way, and Train? Yes, I think so. I think it was a guy that came and called Train, like, every fucking name under the sun on your fucking stream. And you just let him fucking say his piece. And then Train lost his shit. He was like, we're supposed to be friends. We're supposed to be friends. Why are you platforming a guy that's talking all of this shit about me? And then you said, listen, I was defending you or whatever the fuck. But in all reality, you're just letting that guy talk shit. So would you, okay, would you, let, let's say, let's say Stardust. Let's play this. Stardust brings on that level. Oh, sidetrack. I asked the Lavloon chick to be on my stream. She just hit me with the N-O. So uh, guys, guys, am I not clouded enough? Like what the fuck? Like, if I was a 1,000 viewer Andy, would she have said no? Actually, I looked it up online. I looked it up online. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a video on Late Night on Destiny that's called Kratos Exposes Lab. So that's probably the reason why she didn't want to come on, to be honest. You f whoever edits that, I don't know if it's August or whatever, but you f retarded. You f you f up my bag. You f up my easy content. Well, I was busy, like, like, making enemies with literally every single person on the internet right now. It's actually insane. She's going so hard on the anti-trans shit. Maybe you guys would be friends, actually. What? Based off of her being anti-trans? Yeah, don't you hate trans people or something? No, Zonia reads me a lot. So, oh, you know, I, 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 listen, it's business. It's business. Listen, if I have a, you know, juicer manager, I don't say ju, I say juicer. If I have a juicer manager, you know, shalom, you know what I mean? Israel for life. Jesus. Listen. It's only business, ladies and gentlemen. Never confuse online with real life. It's business. No, I'm kidding. I'm, listen, I I don't care enough about the trans shit to, like, have feelings about them. You know what I mean? Like, you ever had that? Like, I don't, like, you live your life. Just don't tell me. Like, if I see a nigga that looks like a nigga. Like, if the motherfucker looks like a woman, honestly, it would be a lot easier for me to just give them their pronouns. You know what I mean? But if they look like a nigga and they're telling me to call them a she, you know. You're telling me to betray my eyes at that point, and I know I wear four fucking glasses at this point, but guys, please, please, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. Anyways, uh, as I was saying previously to uh, you know, me getting sidetracked, if started, and you see how I'm able to bring it back, guys, never take that riddle in whatever.
medication because I'm, you know, ADHD, whatever, that's not real. Fake news. Depression, okay. fake news. Stress, fake news. Trust me, if there was stress, I would know about it in this day. I, this period of my life, I would. If stress was real, I would be stressed. But since I don't believe in it, I'm not stressed. For Amcos, Anyways, this is a boring student, sir. Sneeko uh, is just a more relatable and interesting person. Your jerk is either due to schizo, gigan memory, or a combination like of both. Your jerk is content, but not he's someone who is wrong in a growth way. He's a child molester! Wait, what were you like, talking about? She's saying this about who? Like, let's say Lav is saying this, like, hypothetically, like, this is a scenario that I made up. And she's saying this on Stardust's stream. And then you message Stardust with the BRING ME IN! Smiley face, you know what I mean? Like, let's see. And then Stardust says, nah, I'm good. What would you then feel towards Stardust? Oh, I'd probably just be irritated. So you're telling me you wouldn't, you know, unfriend her? Um, me and Stardust are like online acquaintances. I don't think she owes me anything. Okay, okay. Who online owes you anything that's a fucking streamer? Dan. No, but Dan is like your friend friend. That's great. So at this point, if you look at everybody online as acquaintances oh. other than fucking Dan and like a couple of other people, then, you know, then it's not going to work. If you, Okay, but aren't you like friendly with Stardust at least equally, if not greater than you're friendly with Sneeko? No. What? You're more friendly with... Wow, you and Sneeko must be close. We've like gone out to eat and done stuff. And all that, you know? Yeah, but you and Nick did that too. You wouldn't say that you're friends with Nick. I, didn't, I haven't really gone out, like, in terms of, like, super friendly Nick time or whatever. Like, with Sneeko, I've, like, casually gone out, like, off stream and just, like, hang out and stuff. Okay. Wow. Interesting, interesting. Isn't that interesting? No, I mean, it is, because a lot of people like to just assume that people are, like, all the streamers are their friends without actually meeting these people IRL. And I always tell them, we're acquaintances till we've hung out a couple of times, then we could be f***ing friendly. Oh, true. Is it? No, it's interesting. It's I'm interesting. S fine. Never mind, sorry. Okay. Okay, interesting. Um, so you wouldn't, so nobody owes you anything online? Um, probably. the only thing people that I feel, um, strongly about are probably, uh, like people that get, like, hosted directly on my website would be people. Wait, what's that hosted directly on your Like, you can you embed have, like, people embed? on my, yeah, on my site or whatever. Like, those people are probably... Okay, have, name like, those people. N name the fucking, uh, name the fucking leeches, uh, not leeches, the pigs! Yeah, Darius, the fucking that one. Darius, yeah. Da Darius mainly. That yeah, one. that's why that nigga pulls a thousand viewers. Why would, when me and Zerka were talking, why were you like, oh, he has a thousand five hundred? And I'm here thinking, oh, Darius is like... You know, like, he's organically building something on the side. Well, he's, when it's hey, he's earning it, too. Bro, how many times have I hosted you, okay? Chill, all right? Okay, you've hosted me twice. Uh-huh, only My two character. times? Sure, it wasn't three times? Wait, are you keeping count of how many times you hosted me? Oh my god, for somebody who doesn't keep count, you sure do seem to be f***ing keeping count, oh. Jeebus. <laughs> I keep score. Who yeah. said I didn't keep count? I mean, okay, listen. Uh, I thought you would name Hassan since... You know, you felt some type of way when he said in that complex shit, yo, I made it on my own. I'm the one who forged this path. I'm the one who f***ing combined political commentary with gaming. You felt some type of way about that. That really got to your soul. You, Every single time you interact with that guy or you know that there's a lot of people that are watching you from his community, you make sure to play that f***ing stream, uh, what's it, streamable clip. Is that not true? Uh, no, that sounds like a pretty big exaggeration, you know. How the f Bro, why are you being so f***ing disingenuous? You're being a rat Cause right Cause you're now. trying to like, hardcore f***ing bait for content, and I'm like just playing a game right now. Like, everything you're saying is like half <laughs> serious. I'm not baiting for I mean, I know it sounds like I'm baiting for content, but I'm also having like, genuine conversation. No, you're not. Like None of this is genuine conversation. When you're like, Oh, I know why you like Zico. Hey, you two are cocks. Uh, uh. Like, none of this is like, serious conversation. <laughs> Uh, no, I did say that. I've never said that you two are cucks. I've just said, oh, listen, I didn't know you had that much in common. I mean, in the past, you may have, but I was just curious about what it is in the, you know, present that makes you guys so close. I just, I guess it's just you hanging out with him and maybe having more, you know, unfucking stream time together. That's about it. Okay, uh, yeah, a little bit. He's also probably a little bit more similar to me in mind than like me, than like Zerka is. So you'd say he's a... Yeah, but when you say that, it's so fucking vague. Like, could you at least give, like, one example other than, you know, we're both, like, to think deep about things or whatever the fuck that yeah, is. Yeah, that's it. Just we both like to be gay and think deep about things. 
Okay, see, again, you're you're doing that shit. Well, I mean, like, I'm that's my answer, and you're saying, like, oh, don't know like that. Like, tell me, no, like, that was do, my you guys answer drive, you like, do you guys drive the same type of car, or do you guys have, like, similar YouTube channels? Like, you, you no, no, dickhead, when you say me and him are similar, yet you cannot provide one single thing that makes you similar, other than, like, oh, we both like to think deep about things. I think we could have interesting conversations about shit. Okay, yeah, find me other people that can do it, and I'd probably <laughs> I'd be friends with them, too. Okay, so oh, so now it's mo not friendly. It's friends. See, because you like to play oh with those words. God, you like yeah. to say friendly, and you like to what? Yeah. No, but what? No, no, come on. no, 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 no. <laughs> you okay, buddy. You're so, you're so heavy. Jesus, you're so salty. You're you sound so like a f***ing dude whose vest is about to hit zero. Okay, are you nervous right now? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no, no, nice one, nice one. Yeah, Let's, make yeah, Let's, Let's make a fucking terror joke. Let's make a terror joke. You're a terrorist, dude. You're a terrorist. Yeah. Does that make you upset? You know, yeah. You're Muslim. You're uh -huh. Muslim. You're terrorist. <laughs> no, it's all good, dude. Well, not Listen. just because you're Muslim, you know. Your size, too. You can pack a lot of C4 around that body, you know? <laughs> Hey, trust me, I've seen you shirtless, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, you go up and look up shirtless pictures of me all the time? <laughs> what kind of- that's kind of weird, isn't no. that haram or some shit? No. Are you okay no, on no, that one, no, buddy? No, 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 The people that dislike you do that I mean, that was kind of a- that was kind of a weird one, right? Like, how often are you looking at these pictures, you know? Are you like- is this like common, where you're just like going through your archive of like, Oh no, I know- I know every curve of your body. Gym practice, right? When you start talking about gym and how to- do certain lifts, oh, and when yeah? you start fucking critiquing other people's forms True. that are built a hundred times better than you, you a know, hundred times. Are you, are you, you, know, are you posting your lifts for us to go over today? L let's look at it, Grantos. I, let's go. Hey, listen, you put yourself out into the world to be judged, and I'm judging you. I know, yeah, and I'm just asking so if you post lifts. You you honest to God, you're probably stronger than 90% of my people in chat. Like, basically, you standing up from a sitting true. position is already like squatting three plates, okay? So, listen, I don't think you have anything okay, to be embarrassed dude. about, all right? Okay, dude, listen, you trying to balance that big ass head on your shoulders is already the greatest neck workout of all time. Yeah, true, my brain is big. I do have a. Be better than most of the brain? Nobody said anything about brain. I do that have a big, big brain. Ass skull you have. <laughs> oh, yeah, just a big skull. Okay, yeah, what do I have that's making my fucking gun fire like this? Okay, oh, it's guys. like an upgrade on the pistol, I bet. Oh, I was Jesus. I was in I was talking about something so intelligent until you derailed me because you couldn't handle that I was calling you out on you, some of your weak answers. But I have a question though. Why wh what makes you uncomfortable about just calling somebody a friend out wide? Like somebody like Sneeko, he'd probably be the closest thing to a friend that you met online other than the Dan's and you know all the other people around you, right? So why wouldn't did you just say, "Oh, this guy's my friend" instead of saying we're friendly? Um, I, cause I don't, I don't know, it's just weird to consider something I've only seen like three or four times in my life, like, my friend. Okay. That's just kind of a weird thing. Okay, so, okay. I'll, like, it's I'll not like we do a ton of things together, we don't like play a bunch of games together, or, um, anything yeah, like I've, that. I've, I mean, I've had friends that I, like, I grew up with them, I didn't speak to them in seven months, they're still my friends. Right? You don't have to speak with somebody every day for you to be their friend, number one. And number two, let me throw this theory out there and you yeah, tell throw me. It if me. I'm yeah, go ahead. Let, let me know if Break I'm right. Break down how my right? mind works. Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. I'm not a psychologist. And you did that enough with the grace chip, right? Which mm -hmm. still didn't give me my goddamn fucking two hundred dollars. I'm gonna need that immediately. Anyways, um, do you think that you are apprehensive? Big words, apprehensive, right? Do you think that you're apprehensive in proclaiming that Sneeko is your friend because the last time you trusted somebody and said that you would give them your fucking credit card details they ended up you know snaking you is that is that why are you like are you, are you too scarred you know what i mean maybe it's like those people that have been raped they shouldn't have the conversations about rape because they're too emotionally invested would you say it's something similar to that in nature or am i too far off i don't know man you're hitting real close to home there See, I'm sorry. I triggered something emotionally <laughs> in you, right? It's dead. like I'm, some PTSD. My bad. Yeah, my, I can't see, help myself it, right now. No, but I'm I, no, I'm just curious because... No, I just... You know, I, I Like, for somebody who I would just call my friend, it's just... I don't know. Like, somebody that I'd be, like, playing games with regularly or interacting with regularly, doing something regularly like that would be something that I... Yeah, but when, didn't you say that you're busy off-stream, you barely have any time to talk to anybody off-stream? Like, you've said that on multiple occasions, when that, um, what's her name? When the Katie chick was like, I wanna f***ing talk with you, I wanna talk with you, I wanna talk with you, let's talk offline. And you, you know, we're not that close so that I could f***ing talk to you offline. And you're like, no, you could call me offline, which, by the way, I could bet my entire life savings that call didn't happen, correct? It didn't, um, no, she wanted to, but I, she started talking crazy shit online, and then I didn't have time, and I was, I just don't have any time. Uh, yeah. I just need to of cut back my not. streaming hours, that's what I need to do. So, it's coming, it's probably gonna happen. Interesting. Okay, so. Spear. Okay, so. 
Can you I? don't have time offline for anybody else, including the people that you probably consider friends like Dan or something. So at the end of the day, is it really time if you're not even spending that much of a quality time with your actual friends? I don't think time is the thing that, you know, causes you to not call somebody a friend or not. I think it's just... You just, you just don't want to fucking be friends with anybody. You, you want to be in your bubble and that's okay. That's kind of smart. Because at the end of the day, guys, any of these people that you meet online, especially if you're in a fucking Lil Steve position, bro, if it if it pays to diss him, they'll diss him, right? So. They'll di I mean, look at the guy. What's his name? Call me Carson, right? The guy did nothing wrong. The guy, I, there is nothing wrong other than maybe being a fucking coomer. But he literally did nothing wrong. And all of those Minecraft team buddies, all of the people that were around him, everybody ditched him everybody ditched him everybody was like what this guy he's too nuclear so when it pays to fucking ditch somebody you're gonna get ditched you know what i mean oh, that's, that's if generally you how it works yeah that is true so you know i understand and you know do you think sneaker would be a i mean he's already done it once but he's apologized so as long as somebody apologizes it's cool right no matter what they do to a degree right so like snaking you for instance like how many apologies do you give them till you're like okay i this guy, I can't. Well, no, I mean, I would just, I would expect him to do it again, probably. Critical hit high caliber. Okay. Interesting. 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 See, now you're picking up on my mannerisms as well. This is like, you know what I mean? This is beta behavior. Stop. Have you right? made like kick friends yet? Do you have like friends on kick? Uh, no. No, uh, I don't. Why not? What the f? Okay, this is you trying to take away you being in the center of the conversation and me you know what i mean pointing the spotlight on you you're trying to no why do you always make I so like many assumptions i'm not i have um i talked to my kid to get kick dudes and i need to figure out a way to like um work with the platform more so i'm kind of curious if there's like a community of like kick people that do shit together or if i should start like a fucking a random eight person invite show or something i don't know but i don't know if you'd like dealt with anybody on kick yet i'll tell you uh no i haven't but Here's like the little bit of feedback that I, I could give about Kick. I don't know if you could pass it on to like whoever you have over at the company, but when you follow somebody, right? Mm -hmm. You follow somebody. Oh, are you talking about the? Oh, sorry, God. Mm -hmm. so a yeah, lot of people are follow... complaining about spam notifications. Right. Sorry, God. No, it's not spam notifications. You follow somebody and you unfollow them immediately. You can't follow them again. It's over. Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird. So, uh, you know, somebody needs to look into that. Also. Listen, I was averaging like 130 in my subathon. I went to sleep. I was still averaging like 91. Listen, kick. Hey. I like me. But I like me enough to know that I'm not pulling 91 viewers while I sleep. So shout out to you, kick niggas. You know what I mean? Hey, shout out for looking out for the boy. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. Hey, trade. Listen, if you could juice me up with a thousand viewers just one day so I could flex, you know what I mean? I'd appreciate it. These are not bots, by the way. It's just hardworking employees in Singapore or in fucking uh, Vietnam or something. So shout out. It's not bots, technically, if you have a human farm. Like, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. very nice of him. It's very nice of him. I'm not going to lie. Like, I remember just, like, I went to sleep at, like, 10 p.m. my time. And then I, I, I went to sleep, but I don't sleep. I just roll around in my bed for three hours until I fall asleep. And then I checked my fucking shit. I was like, 91 viewers, three hours fucking not saying anything and just playing random videos. Actually, actually, one of the fucking videos was a two-hour fucking debate between you and the Vosh dude. Oh, so God. unlucky that came up in my autoplay. You know, you know what? You said that guy was small. Like, you were like, he's smaller than me. I looked him up. The guy's pretty fucking big. You know what I mean? Wait, Vosh? I mean... Yeah! Yeah, of course he is. What do you mean? I was under the assumption that, you, you know, he wasn't that big. I was like, wait, what the f***? This guy has, like, damn near 250 followers on Twitter. He has, I don't know, 500,000 on f***ing YouTube or some shit. Like, clearly the guy does well. Also, again, you know what? I forgot to mention him when I said, you know, you built two guys, which was the Vosh and Hassan dude. Mm -hmm. But Hassan did way greater than him. I guess it's because Hassan looks better than him. I'm telling you, man, looks is important. Asman Gold said something based a couple of days ago. Listen, if you are an ugly ass nigga, bro, you're not gonna get far. Like, a lot of people that were talking shit about me, they're like, man, he's like Zerka, but at least Zerka's sexy. Like, I swear that's what they said. So, I don't know if they're gay or if they just, you know, they're not into BBC, they're into the Albanian missile. But it is what it is. But I'm telling you, man, looks play a lot into this. But, you know, Vosh is a big guy. Would you ever be down to speak with, like, a Hassan or a Vosh? Um, Hassan, yeah, Vosh, I don't know. If he was, like, really conciliatory over everything, maybe. Okay, if I recall correctly, 
um, one somebody in his community got you taken down on YouTube or Twitch, right? Was trying to deep platform you, correct? Yeah, it was his uh, f***ing roommate. They were the ones that got me unpartnered. Oh, wow! A whole ass roommate, so that's even worse. And he, your problem with him was that he didn't push back enough. No, he basically didn't give a fuck. I think, oh, um, I think there was fuck. also another thing where, like, people in his Discord were spam reporting me and he was just like... Didn't seem to care much about it. It was just annoying. And, and it mattered then because he was your actual friend, correct? Well, no, it mattered because we were, like, pretty similar in terms of we were, like, kind of both left leaning people that are, like, pretty edgy. And thought that, like, the whole cancel culture shit and, like, the crazy delicate, like, s snowflake mm -hmm. shit was really cringe. But it seems like he kind of, like, he hardcore, and like, sold out to that shit now. And he was big enough to, like, actually fuck you over as well. Well, no, That's it was just the clip that they put on Twitter got huge traction. Oh. Because it was that BLM protesters one. Interesting. Oh, wait, where you said that they should be gunned down or something or fuck them or... Yeah, exactly that, that one? one. Yeah. Wow. But that is fucking crazy, by the way. Bro, you know what? Whatever, okay? Whatever. Just let's move on. Okay. So unless he, like, genuinely apologizes to you, you wouldn't be down to fucking interact with him. First of all, like, you and the Hesse guy, I've seen, like, the cute, um... The cute things, that cute montage of you guys being all nice together and blah blah. Like that was an actual friend. You can't even play around and say he wasn't your friend. Well, like, that was an actual to some friend. Extent, yeah. yeah, we like hung out in real life, invited each other to houses, uh, went outside quite a bit, talked off the stream a bit. Yeah. And you're telling me that entire friendship, that 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 beautiful friendship between a guy and another guy, that bromance, as some people refer to it, that all crumbled over you guys disagreeing on like some in tri hex debate or whatever the fuck it was. Like no, it was before that, but it was just a gradual buildup of things. So it was a gradual buildup of things that you guys didn't address. Well, it was a, the gradual buildup was him having an ego and us being like probably way more politically different than we originally thought or I originally thought. But you don't have a problem with being close to people that you don't politically align with. I don't, do but other people do. That's a very rare quality. Interesting. So you think that he had a lot of feelings towards you and the political stances that you've held, and also there was a lot of shit that happened that constantly added up, and eventually, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back was that fucking debate that you had with Triax where he quote-unquote ambushed you or something? No, 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 no. The straw that broke the camel's back, that, the shit was already f***. At that point, the tracks one was him trying to like get behind, get back at me. Basically, it was already fucked at that point. Okay, so do you hold any responsibility for your friendship just completely falling apart? Do you think that you could have done certain things better? Um, maybe, maybe having like off stream talks to like chill the waters or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What okay, so. You, you, you were kind of vague when you said there was a lot of things that happened behind the scenes. It was just all mainly political, though, right? Wait, like you've behind the scenes with me and Hassan? Yeah, you're saying offline or something. No, 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 I'm saying I could have talked with them offline to chill things, but everything that happened bad was all, like, online. It was all, like, in public. So, okay, so it was all, like, differences in politics and the way that you view things. It, it, did it involve possibly you, maybe... Because, uh, listen, sometimes you do have the tendency to paint your opponent or paint somebody that you're disagreeing with as retarded and if they are not blessed with thick skin they can feel some type of way about it so would you say that you've hurt his ego on numerous occasions since you know you're the debate Andy and he's not the debate Andy so he's, he isn't able to keep up with you verbally um no I was super 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 gentle with him <laughs> but other people so were like really retarded and I think that started to get like pretty annoying like, there were a few times, I know there was one big one on, like, the Raj Royale where Hassan was trying to explain, like, one of the problems he had was verbo- ver is it verboseness or verbosity? Verboseness? Where he would, like, um, take a long time to explain a concept. And one of the things I excel at is usually explaining relatively complicated things. Oh, really, dude. Um, uh, pretty simply and pretty quickly. Um, so, like, the, he was in the middle of trying to explain something and, like, Casey Trump was like, Oh, I wish Destiny was here to just explain it better for us, and that, like, triggered the f*** out of him. Like, stuff like, like, people would say shit like that and it would, like, trigger the f*** out of him, I think. Cool, because they don't really have the status or the power in society in order to do so. Yeah, I vote for Destiny. It's like, I wish people. Destiny could just come in at the beginning and give us the right answer right away instead of making not. us wait. So we didn't have to list a f*** Yeah. Yeah, it, just, it makes me feel like, like we have the so cheat sheet right here. Honestly, like... <laughs> 
it, it's funny because like the only it's way it's such you... a f retarded thing to say. Like I'm sorry, but like if you can't comprehend <gasps> the f that I'm saying, you, you it's the on you. Okay, <gasps> I'm doing as best as I'm doing. Hey, best hey, as yeah, Wes. You said the R word. He literally said the exact <gasps> same thing that I just said. Like what the f are you guys talking you can about? And I make a f long winded point because I know that people don't have like the the same kind of education to to fully comprehend exactly what I'm about to say. And then Destiny comes in and and uh, summarizes the same point that I made. Uh, by by acting on top of that, it's like someone unscrewing a cap all the way to the end, and then him popping it open, and then everyone will be like, "Oh, it's great." Look, and Destiny is brilliant, and he's definitely a more effective orator than myself. But if it's an ongoing thing over and over again, where everyone's like, "Hassan is so dumb," "Hassan is so stupid," that, "Hassan is such a commie," then I, I don't need to be opinion. here. I look, don't need to I, fucking look, bust Hassan, my ass every I day. I apologize if that's what I made you feel, but that's not. Do you understand? That's not what my intention was when I said okay, that. Yeah. It was had nothing no, to do. Okay, so he was basically a little bro under your shadow, even though you weren't trying to push that. People just saw him as that. Yeah, I think Shelly got cringe. Okay, okay, so I, I, I see this. I understand. I understand. So he felt like as a man, he needs to step out of your shadow, coupled with your political disagreements. That probably led to your relationship fracturing. I could see that. That could make sense. I think that's. Did I sum summarize it uh, properly? Do you have any disagreements with the way that I just summarized it? Um, no, it's probably okay. You probably know all this lore. I know you're the biggest f Destiny fan in the world, so... Trust and believe. I could talk to Nick Fentes and I could tell him his lore too. Doesn't mean I'm a fan. Guys, I'm, I'm a very... Listen, I'm an internet historian. Let's just put it that way. I don't speak to somebody unless I know enough about them. Listen, the greatest fucking weapon you could have in a conversation is knowledge, okay? Uh -huh. And if you know more about the fucking person that you're talking about than they know about you, you already have the upper hand okay that is why i'm so good at speaking with all these niggas that you may think i do not f know it's because i know them okay listen uh listen uh adam 22 no jumper we should have a conversation soon let's just put it that way i know enough about that nigga too Ooh. uh you know what you know what uh whenever i see listen i don't look it up it's just research prefaces guys you know i do research sometimes and sometimes i end up on reddit but whenever I see his wife, and then I see a penis there, I know it's Adam's penis, so I immediately have to, like, swipe away quickly. Because one of the things I cannot stomach is looking at somebody's penis that, like, I, I watch on YouTube. You know what I mean? Jesus. Do you see it? Like, you does that make across his penis online often? Is that, like, a... I mean, it's not often. It's just, like, sometimes I'm perusing the fucking internet webs. You know what I mean? And then it, it just magically pops up. Man, like even with Manuel Ferrer, for instance, I, bro, it's over, it's over, it's done. It's because I, I know this nigga. Like I, I've, I've seen him on f***ing streams and shit. It's like it's GGs, it's GGs. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, you know what? What do you think about um, Sasha Gray's transition from being an N-word saying porn star to a very respectable streamer? Um, I don't know. Cool, I guess. Um. I, I've hung out with her an, a little bit in real life, and she seems like a really cool person. But I haven't seen her mm -hmm. stream stuff as much, so just based on the little bit I know, she seems like a cool dude. That, um, she seems like a cool dude. Yeah. Interesting. I, I didn't know she was a. Um, she, she, I didn't know she was a transformer. Sasha Gray, more power to you. Listen, um, actually, her streams are pretty fucking calm. I don't watch her, but I stop by every once in a while. She's mm -hmm. pretty cool. But I'm very surprised how, you know, in this fucking fear of media of fucking entertainment where people get cancelled for the most retarded shit like someone like her who said like the wildest shit in her younger years was it really so oh my god bro when you're getting clapped and you're like fuck me with the er and the bro yeah, but wait that, white girl getting what? by a black guy you can get away with it no one's gonna hold that against you what oh, bro this is a gusano take don't you dare give that people i am not an african-american so i am not no but I think I have enough credentials at this point in my life where I could probably be a spokesperson for the black delegation. And by black, I mean African-American. I don't think any black person would fucking appreciate it getting called a n with the ER by a f***ing white chick that they're clapping. Unless they're my viewer that goes by the name of El Pendejo Larry. That is like a white be, man. I feel like you'd be really surprised, but... What? So you're telling me so you're telling me right now you're comfortable to make the claim that there is a significant amount of black people that are into white women just calling them the n-word and just doing i wouldn't like say significant role. amount but i think that there's a lot of people that enjoy like kind of weird race play stuff sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah but I, when we say there's a lot of people yeah sure if we're talking about a hundred i'm thousand, saying like 10 15 percent okay there you go 
10, 15 percent. Oh, thank you for giving me a percentage. Thank you for falling. You have fallen into my trap card, Bozo. Okay, now let's You're go. You're telling me 15 percent. 15 percent of black people, of black people as in African Americans, are cool. If you were your white girlfriend and she was like, give me that big N word dick, you think that. I think, I think 15 percent. Yeah, I think would be okay with it. Yikes, bro. Where's. um? What's his name? Ava? Say his name. No, the other one that you hate. You know what? Political Actually, guy. hold on. Name him. <laughs> Actually, I might be way low on that estimate, but I'm being conservative there. <laughs> okay, dude, I might be way low on that. I might be way, way, way low on that. Oh my god, what the f So you're telling me that is you being generous? That is you being nice, saying 15%? That's me trying not to, yeah. That's you trying not to like piss off, you know, Bruce, and you're actually you're cool with your age, right? Your, your age likes you, but I, oh I never my tell goodness! About you. Oh my God! No, guys, it's not, it's not Alba, it's not Trihex, it's the other guy. Preach? Political? No, it's not Preach. It's he, the Twitch dude. Trihex? You had a panel. No. F starts with an F, maybe. Not FD signifier. No. Not. Bro, fuck, I hate- Prime Kai, Fanatic? Me. Fanatic! Fanatic. It's, it's Fanatic, there He wouldn't know anything about that because he will never date a white woman because he only dates black women. Mush, yeah, Allah. Hey, hey, keep it, keep it, yo, keep the DNA pure, Fanatic, good job. But why do you dislike that guy? I was so shocked when you guys, like, disliked each other. Because I don't like people that play that race card shit all the time, and he is so quick to, like, fucking be like, Oh, Destiny races on black people, and it's just the cringiest shit in the fucking world. I'm good on that shit, chief. But was there a point in your life where you're like, I'm sorry for my sins as a white man? Were you one of those people at one point? Fuck no. Wait, so you were a non-binary person before you were a apologist for the white clan? Interesting. Interesting. It shows me where your biases lay. It's very, uh... It's eye-opening. Well, okay, okay, interesting. Um, with Kai, I remember you made this claim. Oh my god, these f black streamers that only yell and blah blah blah. Oh my god. You know, in hindsight, you th in hindsight you do recognize that that was an ignorant statement to make, correct? No, I think it was a fine statement to make. Based off of your current uh, understanding and knowledge of their content, correct? I'm pretty sure every time a clip gets posted of Kai now, people literally say the same shit that I said. <laughs> Yeah, but if all people were retarded and uneducated, would you suddenly become retarded and uneducated? Trying to appeal to the majority is not a good defense here. I'm just trying to figure out, like, I'm, I'm not even trying to pursue this line of questioning. I just want you to at least tell me whether you think that it was justified based off of your current understanding of his knowledge, or if you still stick by it, even though you, I assume you probably know that he makes a lot more than that. No, of course he makes a lot more than that. But like every big clip that blows up with him is usually him like screaming, throwing his cell phone, and then like, eh. But he makes a lot more content too, and I've said as much. Like he does a lot of high effort shit. He's got a lot of cool people on his stream. He does like, the subathon shit was mm -hmm. really well done, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say out of like the top 100, actually that's too big, the top 50, I'd say that he's the most hardworking. When wow. it comes to actually generating proper content, oh, yeah. like the guy puts actual effort. Uh, when Alien was, when he fucking made it, he put he put on the, you know what I mean? He he, he put on mm. cruise control and he went to sleep. This nigga Kai is putting on 24-hour streams, where in every single hour he's doing something yeah, unique, something different. That's the thing everybody says. That's true. He's having people from all across, like media. He, like he had 21 Savage, he had Little Baby. He's gonna have Nicki Minaj. Like the guy clearly, his fucking reach is great. Yeah, and the guy is. knows how to fucking entertain, he knows how to carry a conversation, he knows how to keep the energy high. These are not easy things, trust me, I would know by coming in here and having people like Kelly Jean to bounce off of. Mm -hmm. Jeebus, f You ever tried to bounce a basketball on water? No, why is that Kelly Jean? Yeah, that, that's how it feels talking to Kelly Jean, f*** me. You know? it's, I mean, that's how it feels like talking to you sometimes, but at least every once in a while, you know, I, I, I hit hard enough where the ball goes into the water, and then, you know, the pressure makes it shoot up like 10 times higher, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. God, am I not fucking amazing at analogies and examples? Oh my God, God bless me with this fucking gold tongue, you know what I mean? Jesus. Hey guys, guys, listen, listen. I think Quinn69 is a top 10 streamer of all time. Quinn is hilarious. That guy's hilarious. That's true. Yeah. That guy's fucking hilarious. That guy, that guy actually innovates and adds new things to his streams that I don't see anywhere else. True, and so I give him a lot of credit, so... Yeah, that's pretty 
fucking cool. I didn't even know you do that. That's really fun. I don't watch well, of the course. guy. I mean, he's white like me, so <laughs> obviously I respect him a ton, you know? Of Listen, I don't think you're a racist, but, you know, let's say the race war comes around. I think you'd be comfortable going in team white. Let's just put it that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. All like right. me personally, I, I like I wouldn't because I'm Somali, you know what I mean? Shout out to the Macrobians. But um you know, I think I think you'd betray your Latino people. Do you think so? Is that not true? I don't know Wait, if I, is that not true? I don't think I'm Latino. But aren't you like Cuban or some shit? Yeah, but Cubans have all sorts of backgrounds, right? Used to recover. So so you're a white Cuban. Probably there's probably some European background or Spanish background or some bullshit. I don't know. So historically, those white Cubans, what would they be referred to in Cuba? Oh, or outside of Cuba? Gusanos. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we yeah, go. See, yeah, get that. You're not as slow as you try to convince people you are. You know that, right? Yeah, know. Sometimes it just needs conversation. And then, you know, people could actually see the intellect. Uh -huh. It's unfortunate, though. You know what I mean? Sometimes people like Zerka, he's a great example of this. He needs somebody to bounce off of. Like, if he's alone, it's pretty hard for him to not, you know, fall into his usual talking points but when he has somebody else to bounce off of he could generate some interesting karma unless he then falls back onto the same shit again he is in love with the masonic thing, flat thing. but oh my god i saw a tweet from that guy he had like a hundred books he was like guys i recommend you to read these books if you're into whatever the esoteric shit and, and then he was like bro i i swear to god i don't think like i believe for the longest time that jonathan does not read but I think he does read, or maybe he uses like that Amazon Kindle or whatever the f like ebooks. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just has them like read out loud to him. I don't know. It's maybe. either or. Is there a lot of Masonic I literature on the audiobook section? I mean, if there was that king, um, that anti-Semitic book on Amazon that Kyrie fucking tweeted about, but nobody gave shit for to Amazon for, but they gave shit to Kyrie. Like, I'd assume wait, why would you assume? Masonic yeah, do you know they? What that same? It doesn't even make sense. Wait, so if you have anti-Semitic shit available, I'd say that is crazier than having, like, Masonic f shit available. No, I mean... Unless you're talking about the lack of, you like, get interest... Why would Amazon for selling a book versus somebody for recommending a book? If like, you're, Amazon... Okay. Do you think Amazon should sell, like, Mein Kampf? Okay, think about it. Think, I am. Let's put it this way. Let's, let's put, put it, it this let's way. Put it if somebody... Time. If somebody... If somebody is selling bombs, right? He is equally as liable and equally at fault as the person that sells the f or buys the bomb and like goes blow somebody and obviously we're talking about like you know illegal shit here like you can't hold like a f uh, walmart that sells a gun to like some school shooter actually you could hold them accountable if they sold it to a fucking kid that should not have owned a gun but yes yes i do think that because at the end of the day if the book was so out of pocket why is amazon selling it okay no, they, no, actually, you, you have can, an But you can sell books for a whole bunch of reasons. It could be for academic research. It could be for... It depends, right? There's, like, a legitimate reasons to buy and read Mein Kampf, right? You don't have to be a fucking Nazi. But if some guy was like, my favorite book is Mein Kampf, go read it, buy it off Amazon, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, Amazon sells it. So if Kyrie just said this is an interesting read... Um, well, it's you know, the fact that he's it. suggesting it on top of, like, all the other, like, waves of, like, kind of weird anti-Semitic shit that was going on in the U.S. at the moment, like, with regards to Kanye and, and other statements, too. Wait, hold on. Give me a second. I need to listen to something. Hold on.